I have not said anywhere that I will promote homosexuality. What I have said and what I have done is to protect the human rights of every body. This is what I have done. And so if I go to be it international fora, be it the village grounds of Nungwa or Shama or Bukom, I will say that I protect the human rights of every body in Ghana. She indicated that she's a very strong Catholic. She was baptized in the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church frowns on lesbianism and homosexuality. The Bible even condemns that practice. You are a very strong practicing Catholic. You're going to go to the Ministry of Gender, Women, and Welfare. Do you, nominee, frown on homosexuality and lesbianism? Do you? My values are shaped by what I have read in the Bible and what I know in Catholic doctrine and what I know is showing compassion for everybody and that is exactly what I will do. In terms of the Bible and religion, what I have read is Jesus Christ came for the poor and the voiceless. Jesus Christ embraced Zacchaeus who was an outcast. Jesus Christ embraced the prostitute at the well. And he said finally that love your neighbor as yourself. And he also said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son. The qualifying sentence is, for God so loved the world. So how can I, being a Christian and a Catholic, not show compassion for everybody? Mothers and mothers who are desirous of having children such as your case, are you morally fair? Or is it the case you are preaching what you do not believe yourself? Morality of the issue of homosexuality, uh, I would say that you have rightly identified that it is a cultural challenge. And we all know, I know you are a scholar, that morality is subjective. And that is why I believe that that is a debate and that is the discussion that the country should have. That should be left to the country to decide as to which way the country wants to go. I will address human rights issues of every body. The issue of morality, whether or not homosexuality is moral is something that the society of Ghana has the capacity to decide upon.